This call is now being recorded. Okay, so all of you, uh, you remember that uh, in the previous lecture, what had we covered? What was the topic? Have we seen this PPT? Have I shown this to you? No. 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 Pronouns. Yes. Okay. I think I in boys class I have shown in your class it is left. So, can you give me the names of the kinds of pronouns that you remember? Which are the kinds of pronouns that you remember? This is not the first time you are learning this lesson. It has been there since your third and fourth standard. So, you should remember the names. How many kinds are there? At least some names you should remember. Tell me. These are the pronouns which you can see. I, V, U, P, She, It, all these are pronouns. But I want the kinds of pronouns. Just name them. I am not telling you to explain it. But at least you can name some of the pronouns. Anyone? So many students are there. And I expect from each one of you. Yes, Madhesa, Gabrani, Sakina, Bhimani, Sanya, Rupani, Zainab. Anyone? Kinds of pronouns. Like kinds of I want the names of kinds of pronouns. Tell me. So, you have not woken up yet because it's not possible that you don't remember the kinds of pronouns, names at least. Mariam and Lada Fatima, anyone? Strange. So what is a pronoun? Pronoun, it is used to replace the noun. It is noun equivalent. And the replaced noun is called antecedent. If there is a name, if there is a proper noun, if a girl, if there is a girl's name or a boy's name, I want to replace it. I want to use a pronoun. So for boy, I will use he. For the girl, I will use she. If there is, if it is a thing, inanimate object, I will use it. So that is called pronoun, which is used in the place of noun. That you know, right? Now categories of pronouns. So did anyone recall kinds of pronouns? Anyone? Like kinds of adjectives. Kinds of pronouns we have. In boys, they had given the names. I was expecting from girls also. Read now. There are eight categories of the pronouns. The categories of pronouns are personal pronoun, possessive pronoun, demo, uh, demonstrative pronouns, reflect, uh, reflexive and emphatic pronouns, interrogate, interrogative pronouns. Relative pronouns, re reciprocal pronouns, identify, identifinite pronouns. Indefinite. Indefinite pronouns. Now, do you remember something from your lower standards? At least from sixth standard, you should remember what you have learned. Fifth standard. These topics were there. Weren't they?
are you learning this for the first time or have you seen this before tell me okay so which one do you know from this which one can you explain whichever you like all of you one by one for example personal pronoun then what is inside it explain any one whichever you like tell me which one do you remember if you like possessive interrogative relative whatever it is but what is it you have to tell me in short anyone so first of all what are pronouns what are pronouns yes read it read who Maria. Uh, Maria, I will give you a chance. Wait, uh, let her complete reading. A personal pronouns represent specific person or things. We we use them depending on number: singular, plural, person, first person, second person, you third person, he, gender, male, he, female, she, or neuter, it. Okay. Okay. Subject we or object us. We use personal pronoun in the place of the person or people that we are talking about. Okay. So these are personal pronouns. See, to represent specific people or things, when you are talking about any person or anything, if it is singular, you will use I. One person will say I. if it is plural the singular singular is i the plural is we means more than one then first you know there are three persons in grammar you learned first person second person and third person so first person is i second person is you and third person is he gender if it is male then he for girl you will use she neuter means what neuter gender non living you will use it if it is subject we use we or object we use us subject means when you read the sentence you see the subject will be in the beginning of the sentence who is performing who is doing that action that the doer of the action is called subject then you will use we but if it is in objective case who is receiving the action that is called object the person or the people those who are receiving the action then it is called objective case then you will use us for example we completed our work in that sentence we is the subject because we we are doing the action we is the doer who completed the work we so that is subjective case then if we if if i tell you the work was completed by us the work was completed by us so in that sentence us that is objective case the work was completed by whom if i ask the question whom or by whom then it is objective case so there you will use us and if i ask the question who who completed the work we completed the work so it is subjective case but if i ask the question by whom then it is objective case see this just you have to just have a look at it you will not read this these are personal pronouns subject and object both are given just have a look these are all personal pronouns which are given over here see the last two columns just you have to remember that these are personal pronouns now we'll read the example and you will tell me which one is the subject and which one is the object for subject you will ask the question who and for object you will ask the question whom or by whom is that clear
read it i like coffee what happened you stopped i like coffee john helped me we do you like coffee john he runs fast did ram beat him she is clever does mary know her we we went home anthony drove us i doesn't work can the engineer repair it no okay, second i think she has some work just a minute In, uh, am i audible yes sir okay. yes uh continue did you table uh, did you need a table for three did not <laughs> and mary beat you at dubies they played dubies shot and mary beat them okay so here two two examples are given to get right one is subject one is object see two two examples are given it is a pair examples are given in a pair see that in first two sentences which one is the subject and which one is the object tell me both are all these are personal pronouns okay all these are examples of personal pronouns. but which one is subject and which one is object in the first one tell me i is subject and me me is object very good and what about uh, number 5 which one is subject and which one is object we yes tell me we is subject and and uh, us is object okay good so that is how you will find subject and object but all these which are highlighted which are highlighted with colors these are all personal pronouns now we will see what are possessive pronouns okay mariam you wanted to read so okay, okay. okay. we will read this possessive pronouns yes read this we we use possessive pronoun to refer to a specific a, a, a person people are thing 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 in the as a accident and belong to the to a person people and do some people and sometimes sometimes belonging to an animal animal are thing thing you will never find a possessive pronoun near a noun despite the fact in the genetic skew of the of personal pronoun we use personal uh, possessive pronoun 
depending on number singular mind or plural hours person one person mind second person yours or third person his gender male his female thoughts okay so you just have to remember what are possessive pronouns and what are they used for why, why do we use possessive pronouns so these uh, highlighted which are given in brackets they they show the possession they are called possessive pronouns and they generally come where they generally come at the end of a sentence and they are not followed by a noun they are not followed by a noun remember noun will not be there with possessive pronouns but they will be used to show the possession who is the owner of which thing if i say uh, there is a pencil box so it belongs to me how will i say that this box is mine if there is a book which belongs to you i will say that book is yours so mine yours ours for example class you are sitting in your class i am taking your lecture so we say the class is ours yours also and mine also so we say ours o u r s it is not ours it is ours so that is how we use possessive pronouns these are all examples of these possessive pronouns mine yours hers theirs ours his in his you will not add one more s understood what are possessive pronouns see just you have to uh, see this you will not read you will just have a look the last column these are all possessive pronouns so do you understand what are possessive pronouns and what are they used for did you understand yes sir see if i say mine means my picture look at this picture mine is the big so my picture mine means my his means his hers means which belongs to her see singular and plural these are all possessive which are used before the noun singular and plural these are all possessive pronouns now we have reflexive and emphatic very important you have to understand the difference between these two reflexive and emphatic do you know what is the difference because the words are same in both but there is a little difference between these two words will be same the same words will be used do you know which words will be included in this pronouns in reflexive and emphatic pronouns which words do we include yes which one um, myself himself uh itself ourself themselves Very yourself yes and uh, herself okay good so reflexive and emphatic in both these these words will be included which mother has just said but then how will you find out the difference if i ask see yourself or himself it is there in the sentence how will you know whether it is reflexive or emphatic you give the correct words these are all reflexive pronouns as well as emphatic pronouns but you know how will you find out the difference you will have to see where are they placed in the sentence where is their place in the sentence depending on that you will identify whether it is reflexive or emphatic so understand carefully now
Okay, now uh, who else will read? Anyone else? Almas, Almas is there? Yes. Yes, read. Definitions, reflexive pronoun is used with an active voice verb in order to, to reflect the action of the verb back on the subject, the attention, as attention, emphatic pronoun, accompanies in attention in order to accentuate its action state, reflexive and emphatic pronouns have different positions within the sentence structure. Okay. So, reflexive emphatic. As I said, see the third line, important it is. They take different positions within the sentence. Reflexive means what? The word reflexive means reflection. When you stand in front of the mirror, what do you see? You see your reflection. Right. So from that, the word is derived reflexive. Reflexive pronoun is used with active voice. You know what is active voice? Subject, verb, object. S, V, O. If the sentence is there in active voice, reflexive pronoun is used. And in reflexive pronoun, you know what? The pronoun is placed away. The pronoun is placed away from the personal pronoun. In emphatic pronoun, the pronoun is placed near, which is next to a uh, personal pronoun. In reflexive pronoun, there will be distance between personal pronoun and reflexive pronoun. But in emphatic pronoun, it will be very close to the personal pronoun. See, these are all the examples that Modesa just read. We use reflexive pronoun when we want to refer back to the subject. And what do we add? We add S-E-L-F, self in singular. And in plural, we add S-E-L-V-E-S, -E singular. Myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself. Plural, ourselves, yourselves, themselves. These are all reflexive pronouns as well as emphatic pronouns. I repeat, reflexive and emphatic both will have the same words which are given. But the difference is in their placement, how they are placed in the sentences. Now see. I saw myself in the mirror. Why do you blame yourself? John sent himself a copy. So what do you think? These words which are underlined, yourself, yourself, himself, are this reflexive or emphatic? Are these reflexive or emphatic? Emphatic. Emphatic. It will come immediately after the personal pronoun or the name. Reflexive. It is reflexive. If it is emphatic, then first sentence, how will it be? You know, it will be like this. I myself saw. Or you yourself, I myself, John himself, they themselves. Immediately after the name or after the pronoun, if these words come, then it is emphatic. But if it comes after the other words, if there is a distance between the two pronouns, then it is reflexive. Understood? See, now you will understand better. See, in the first example, I made it myself or I myself made it. Meaning is same. So which one is reflexive and which one is emphatic? Tell me in the first one. I made it myself is reflexive and I myself made it is how, how do you know that? How can you say? Because after I, it, it is made and it, there is some distance between it and in yes. the second part, it is after I only. 
yes exactly so if it is if, if it comes immediately after the name or immediately after the pronoun then it is emphatic if it is at little distance if one or two words come in between then it is reflexive that is the shortcut to remember that see the last sentence see she spoke to me herself or she herself spoke to me so meaning is the same meaning there is no change in the meaning but one is reflexive and one is emphatic and uh, so who will tell me in the third sentence which one is emphatic i can say sir which one she herself spoke to me yes that is emphatic so understood the difference between reflexive and emphatic yes sir so we will continue with demonstrative pronouns the next lecture and we will also revise for your exam but i think we have enough time it is on the 6th so we will have one or two more lectures keep revising you have english i hope you have completed and grammar also as you know lesson 8 and 9 are to be 